Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Bradley. Um, yeah, this is a strange one. So, I wrote a note for myself earlier that I was going to do this clip because I've been feeling like this most of the day. And I wrote down, I'll smile tomorrow, but not today. And that's exactly how I feel. So today is the 18th of December. We are a week away from, well, a week today will be Christmas. Um, Christmas season is my most favourite time of the year. It really, really is. I love the holiday season. I love the Christmas period, whatever we want to call it. I absolutely love it. This time of the year is me. I love being full of family around me. I love the house being done up to the nines for Christmas. I like spending time with the ones who mean the most to me. And yeah, I really love to embrace this season. This season is magical and I absolutely love it. But, and you can even tell, do you know what, even as I'm starting to talk, I've been like this all day. I've been like this all day. Um, back in May this year, I lost my grandmother. My grandmother passed away. <clears throat> and do you know what? It's, it's turned my life upside down. It really has. Um, and we're about six and a half months on now. It still feels like um, that it happened yesterday. And um, I love this season, but do you know what? I feel awful saying this and I've been, I've been, um, and I've been trying so hard to enjoy everything of this. And I don't really say this to too many people, and I, my mum is the person who I talk to about everything. We're best friends, as, as I was with my nan. And that bond we had, us three, I treasure, is an absolute jewel I treasure for life and for eternity. But I don't even, I don't, I don't want to kind of even I wouldn't dare burden my mum with this because she is doing so incredibly well throughout this season because of course it's her mother. And you know what, with all of everything, everybody talking about gifts and everybody um, getting ready for Christmas and um, I thought I was doing really well and I think I am and I think it's just a, a bit of a blip. But decorations mean so much in this family. Um, the the atmosphere, everything. The certain items which we buy for Christmas. Everybody in my family goes all out. We always have done. That's how we celebrate it. We come together. Usually, we come together on Christmas Eve, and we have a really special Christmas Eve, an amazing Christmas Day, which is a little bit more private. It's sort of like my mum, my dad. Um, myself, um, and sort of, we have a few, so we have selected one, uh, selected members of our family. It sounds really, 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 really VIP, doesn't it? But it's not, it's just how it kind of falls in our family. is very close. Um, and Christmas is such a special time, but we all dress up and we have, um, huge, like, banquet meals and, and the house is done up to the nines and everybody's dressed amazingly and, and everybody's festive and really, happy. And you know what, this year, I just think to myself, you know what, I'm speechless. <clears throat> I don't know how to kind of put this, put this to you, and you're probably wondering, what, why is Bradley doing this? Why on earth? Is he letting that wall down and why is he doing this? Because my channel means so much more to me than just views and numbers on a YouTube channel. It's a place where I can go to and I can breathe and I can talk and I express how I feel. And I get some amazing, amazing comments and that support and, and just that, that feeling of that somebody else has been there 
just gives me that sort of ledge to hold on to. That life's going to be okay. Because do you know what, throughout all of this, Christmas means everything to me. Do you know what, mate? I had a moment today and I thought to myself, if I haven't got my nan, or if I haven't got my nan to hug, or if I haven't got my nan to look to and say, look, man, this is what I bought session such, or this is what we're going to be doing, or, or who, my nan's gifts. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't necessarily want it. Do you know what frightens me the most? It's going into 2022 without her. And do you know what? I would never ever do this. But today's been a really tough day. And Christmas comes along. And it brings all of its magic. But it also brings emotion. And sometimes that emotion is really raw. And that's what today's been. I have faith, and faith gets me through a lot. I pray to the Lord sometimes. In fact, every most days I pray to the Lord. But sometimes I pray to the Lord to take it all away. And sometimes I say silly things, and sometimes I have silly thoughts, and I have awful thoughts. And um, some days I have good days where I don't. You wouldn't even know that was an issue. But today is Saturday, very late on Saturday, and um, very late on Saturday, and I um, went out with my, um, excuse me, I went out with my, with my mum, who is my, um, who is a best, who, we're like best friends, and I tell my mum everything, and um, we went into into our local town today to do some Christmas shopping, the last couple of things which we needed. And you know, the whole time, I, I just walked around and I seen people and just looked at everything going on and there was some live music going on. And I just looked and I just thought to myself, do you know what, today I just felt like that. Christmas was happening, and the Christmas season was happening, and I see my amazing cherished treasured mum chatting to me, talking to me, being there for me, and the whole time I felt that I was just looking in on my own life, and I wasn't actually living it, and um, I just felt so alone, and so... <clears throat> that, that, I don't know, do you know what, I hate doing this, it's the 18th of December, and I'm sat here, and do you know what, it's 20 to 12, 20 to midnight, and I'm sat here, and I'm thinking, oh. I'm sat here, and, I think to myself, I've got to go my whole life without her. Really? Really? Is that even possible? Today has been a low day. It really has been. And I know it's just the same. Christmas brings joys and sorrows. And it does. But you know, I know I wasn't going to have a man for I know I wasn't. But, um... It will be lovely. It will be amazing and it will be magical. This season is always very, very busy. My mum does an, an incredible, incredible, right from about, sometimes it's only in September, it's, my mum puts it, Christmas, my mum does Christmas, magical, mums are magical, aren't they? My mum 
lesser heart does this incredible, incredible Christmas for us all. Now I'm very busy, because if it's not my mum doing it, it's me. Um, and um, I used to help my nan with everything we used to do for Christmas, and I used to help with my nan with her Christmas cards, and she has a huge family, and gifts, and we would decorate my nan's house, and her lounge, and the Christmas tree, and we would do everything together, and I'd spend time with her in the Christmas, and... Not the last couple of days, I've just been thinking of different pictures in my mind. And a couple of years ago, when the, um, a lot of people will know this, when the, um, Nintendo Wii console came out, and, you know, the one that remote? And you do all these, like, sort of, almost sort of like, um, sports games, like, uh, fitness games and things. I remember the Christmases when my nan would visit, and nan would be doing, in her 80s, mid-80s, and she'd be playing with us on the, uh, on the Wii, on the Nintendo Wii console. And she'd have her own profile, and we'd be doing all these games. And you know what? The laughter and the fun, and taking them through these, these games, and and then we'd have a drink, and 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 sort of like a, like that festive get together with the nibbles and the Christmas foods, and and it was just magical. Where did that go? Do you know what? Time is so hurtful because when you think that you could just hold that for a lifetime. No, it's not there. Do you know, I think the thing is, I said this to my mum today, and I asked my mum, and I felt sorry, and I felt awful for asking it. I see my brothers um, with their partners and their children, <clears throat> who I love dearly. And me, for several years now, I've really yearned. I'd love to get married. I'd love to have that beautiful wife. And I'd love to have that beautiful home. And I'd love to have my own children. My own beautiful, beautiful children. And I say that because I have amazing gift from God. Nieces and nephews. And I yearn for that. And I don't have nobody to share my life with at the moment, I don't have that, that precious gem in my life, and sometimes I watch these Christmas films, and I think to myself, life should only be like that, and, you know, I so wanted my nan to see me, with this amazing, beautiful person who I could share my life with, my nan to meet my beautiful wife, my beautiful children, And now, where does this leave me? I felt like this all for so long. Um, I've been pushing it back and pushing it back. And I woke up today, and I said to myself today that we'd have a we'd have a lovely, lovely weekend. I went to town with my mum, and and you know, the whole time I just felt so. Exterior, like I was looking in on my own life. I felt miserable all day, but yet it's Christmas. How is that possible? How is that possible? Do you know, sometimes think to myself, and, then, and I can just be in a room and sometimes think to myself that my nan's just going to walk back through the door. She's just going to walk back through the door and everything's going to just freeze. Freeze forever. But yeah, I'm going to be able to go on and do my life, and I'm going to be able to have this amazing job, and this amazing home, and this amazing beautiful wife, and with my children, they're only running around, and Nan's going to be in the chair laughing with my mum and raising the glass at Christmas. But it doesn't work like that, does it? It doesn't work like that. If only it did. If only it did. doesn't. And it's hard. It's really hard. And you know what, I've, all this season I've put up a real strong 
and put up a real strong wall. And I've been able to I'm going through that many tissues. And I've been able to carry on and everything fine. But I think I'm at that stage where so much has gone on and this year has been so much. My head has given me all sorts of intrusive thoughts and all sorts of horrible sort of images and my head is almost like exploding with everything going on and the past couple of nights have been absolutely horrendous for me in my own world and when I go to bed in my mind and it's just all these horrific things which aren't even me go through my head and it's just <clears throat> The thing what gets me through is my faith, and the thing is, I pray to the Lord, and 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 everything becomes clear, and everything I have this clarity. And I will be fine, and I will get through this, and I think of my nan, and I think of what she would say, and it's just. It's just scary, do you know what I mean? It's just, you go, we're coming to the end of 2021. I've been gifted in this life with amazing, amazing parents. And thankfully, they're there every step of the way to guide me and to, and to support me and to show me the way in this life. When you lose someone so special in your life, how do you then get back up? How do you then learn almost to walk again? How do you? Do you know, I don't know how my mum must feel. We have very, we have these very connected conversations. And she is so strong always. And she's a beautiful soul and my mum is a gift from God. And she handles life incredible. I clearly am a blubber mess at the moment. I don't think, I don't know. The new year worries me, and Christmas Day, this will be the first Christmas in a week's time without my nan. And I'm telling myself that it's the first one she's going to be with my grandfather, who we lost 27 years ago. It was only one when my grandfather passed away, and my nan will be with him, and this will be the first one they're all together. Yeah. That's okay. That, my nan and my grandfather will be together. Like, do you know what? I feel greedy, I feel selfish to think that I haven't got my nan here to hug and to give my nan a kiss on Christmas Eve and to put my arms around her and, and wish her a Merry Christmas. Hmm. Yeah. Difficult. I realise I look an absolute idiot on here. I really, really do. But my channel, as I say, is much, much more to me than numbers and views and amount of clips. It's a place I go to breathe. It's a place I go to share things that mean the most. And do you know what? One thing I am on my channel is I am real. I am truthful. And do you know what? As I wrote down earlier, I have a note in my phone. I'll smile tomorrow, but not today. And I will. I'll vouch on that. I'll smile tomorrow, but not today. It's been a real tough. I could really swear. It's been a real tough day. I love Christmas. I know it's the magic of Christmas. It? It's, I love it. It's my favourite time of the year. It's all come crumbling down. It's all been a bit much today. Thanks for being there. Thanks for listening. Do not worry. Do not think, wow, what he's going through. Just thanks for being there. Thanks for listening. <sighs> On a positive note, 
I hope that you're well, and I hope you're watching this, and I hope, not hope that you're watching this, I hope that you're sat there, you're watching this. All I can say to you is, love and value and cherish your life. I try to, I am trying to right now. I know you must think that he's lost his grandparent, and all these awful things happen, and so many people have gone through so many awful things this year, and my heart goes out to you, and it is breaking for you. <clears throat> But love those around you. Hold on to them dearly. Because as they say that yesterday is gone. And to be honest we can never get it back. So if it's as good as forgotten. Today is to be loved and to be cherished. And do the things what you can do today. Don't put them off. Love and tell those who you love today. Don't wait. I'm proud of the fact I told my nan that I loved her every single moment I seen her. I wish I could do it more. I wish one now I could have told her that I loved her so much. Hmm, I do. Every day, every single day. I wish that I could look at my nan and I could give her a hug again. And I could say, do you know what nan, I absolutely love you. I love the bones of you. God knows, God's telling her, but I wish, I wish to the high heavens I could hug on myself, I really do. Anyway, thanks very much for being here, and until next time, I will be seeing you real soon. Ignore all of this, ignore all of this, absolutely. Thanks very much for being here, this is the raw me by the way, this is the raw me. No running look, looking back at her seat. Okay. There we go. Right. I am going to upload this. Because this is me. And, um. Yeah. Christmas, as my nan would always say, brings joys and sorrows. I never used to understand that as a child, but I certainly do now. Bless you, Nan, and I love you forever and always. Thanks very much for being here. Take great care, and it means the world that you've shared this with me. I bless you, and I'll be seeing you real soon, and I promise I'm not going to today. I'll be smiling tomorrow, just as you should do. Take great care, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.